back in the day, in order to combine two games, you would have to either create a new game, or you would have to have two cartridges stacked on top of each other. And as far as I'm aware, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles is the only one that did it. They were each chunks of levels. So in a way, it was kind of taking these two games and just mashing them together. Uh, this was sort of the DLC of the day. You do have the option with game development of saying, hey, you know what? We have this item that is separate. We're selling it separately, but it combines with the old one. You can have it so that one flows into the other rather than it really being DLC in the typical sense where one is dependent upon the other. With DLC versus standalone, you have these different options. One of them is add-on, which means that you need the base. Combination, which means either works, combination adds to. And most games will not look at combination. That's not something that's really done today, and I'd love to see more games do that because I think that that makes it feel very different. Yes, and now we're in Sonic and Knuckles land. You've got separate work, which is where both work, no combination. I think it'd be interesting to see more games take advantage of this, where their sequel is pulling info from the prequels. I know Mass Effect did something like that, but I love how in this game, you basically have two games and you're mashing them together, and then it works. So with DLC versus standalone, you can have an add-on version where you need the base and you just append to it. You can have combination where either of your pieces work, but you can add them together, and then you have separate work where both of them work, but you can't combine them at all.